Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Well that was an interesting European election wasn't it? And as it's the morning after the European night before I thought I'd do a little video to give my little two pence worth on what happened last night. As I predicted the European Nationalist Party did quite well throughout Europe but sadly here in Britain that wasn't the case as Nick Griffin lost his seat as my MEP. As it is, apart from running a gauntlet from the usual hate not hope mob and the UAF fascists or the establishment brown shirts and other left wing scum, the British National Party polled 179,694 votes in total throughout Britain or 1.14% of the voting total as its proportional representation and sadly we lost all our deposits but never mind this is politics and you win some you lose some and there'll be another election in 2019 and there's always a general election next year. The national turnout was 34.19% which means 65.81% of Britons couldn't be bothered to get off their arse and vote so they must be quite content with how things are being run in this country and how they're taxed etc. The British National Party did get more votes than the British First False Patriotic Party led by the turncoat Paul Golding they only got 20,272 votes or 0.13 percent of the vote and they all lost their deposits but they won't last as long as the British National Party because they're in a hide into nothing and good riddance to them. The German National MPD Party I've read has gained one seat but the German authorities don't like it and they want to make the MPD an illegal party. Good luck with that but then Germany like most of Europe is run by the Zionist bankers and I can smell trouble coming that way. On the good news front continuing is the Greek Golden Dawn party looks set to get two vote, two MEPs sorry, with 10% of the Greek electorate even though the Greek government that was parachuted in by the European Commission has put most of the leadership in prison on trumped up charges. Of course the big news in Europe is the French Front National has gained the lion's share of votes and Hollande's government doesn't like it. Well that's just tough for him. He should have, should have listened to his people and not allowed his country to be invaded by Islamics and other third world immigrants, economic migrants I should say. As it is the French women now have a common bond with their Swedish cousins in that there's a report that an 18 year old French girl was gang raped by three Turks and a Moroccan so at least she shares equal ethnic enrichment i.e. the disgusting crime of rape no matter who they are with Swedish women as I reported 25% have also been gang raped by Islamic invaders to Sweden. Hopefully the Swedish national -ish parties have managed to make gains like the their cousins across the water in Denmark who have now increased their MEP take to four. Anyway that's just my little take on what's going on if anything happens post these elections then I might do another video of it but it seems that the population of Europe are waking up to the Kalergi plan which has been imposed on them by the liberal fascist elite which is the ge genocide of the white Christian problem i.e. you and me if you're white and you're Christian and the nationalist parties are hopefully going to drop a giant sized spanner in the commission's work and throw that plan off the rails which is all the reason it's a little bit sad that Nick Griffin won't be there with them when they do it. Right that's all I'm going to say on this matter for the moment as I said I might do another video if things 
change on the European front but until then you know the routine like dislike whatever it's all up to you but as I said in my last video if you resort to name calling I will ban you and delete the comments as it's my channel and my rules and I say keep your comments civil or else right until the next time bye